Yeah, Jen, over the last 30 years, Seabrook Station has conducted silent alarm tests every two weeks. And as this investigation concludes, they have confirmed that it was human error that set off 10 alarms out of the 121 that they have here at the station. And the investigation also said that nothing was actually functionally wrong with the sirens to make them go off. It was just a, quote, inadvertent activation of a command within the system, end quote. Along with training the staff that does this siren testing, they're going to add extra personnel and remove pre-programmed commands from the test system. And they've also added a new procedure to send information to local law enforcement agencies and the media at the same time in case of future incidents. At Seabrook Station, the safety of our communities is of the utmost importance uh, to the residents of the area and the businesses and the people who visit. And we've now put in processes and procedures to ensure a recurrence of this situation does not happen. Now that the sirens that Seabrook Station currently has, they are over 30 years old. There was a lot of concern from that. But like we said earlier, they were functioning properly. However, before July 12th even happened, when the false alarm went off, they were actually already trying to transition into a new siren system, and they still want to do so. Live here in Seabrook, Troy Lynch, WMR News 9.